So this painting was given to me by somebody when, when we opened the gallery at 57 Great Jones Street. We were looking for like bits of old things we could use in this back room that was meant to replicate an old kind of like place where people would do graffiti, like oil drums and all that kind of stuff. So this guy basically went in the basement and you know, there's bits of wood and all, all these kind of things and he said, oh, there's this painting, you could paint over this. You could graffiti over it. <laughs> Which, you know, we do. And I was like, oh yeah, that could be cool. Like, you know, it's kind of an antique gallery kind of thing. <laughs> so he gave it me. And then literally while I was there, one of these old graffiti artists said, Oh, I like that. I'll give you a hundred bucks for it. And I'm like, no, but it's not for sale. It's going to either be in the gallery or something. And then we sort of changed our idea about what we were going to do in the back. Uh, and so I took it home for safekeeping. And as I was taking it home, I realized... Ha! Ah, there's a whole story There's here. a whole story. Ha! Ah, for Emily, in thanks for having been such a source of inspiration, May the Garden of the Lights be yours always. Oh my goodness, I was such a sentimental. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? She was my best friend. And this is one of my favorite paintings. And uh, I gave it to her. So why, why this and what was J.D. Salinger had some kind of like meaning to you both? Or what was the... Probably not to her. I don't even know if she ever read him. But, you know, I painted him because I love this work. You know, coming from the Netherlands, this was like a whole new window in American, into American life. I learned a lot about the United States through records, you know, music and books. So he, he was a major influence. Now, why I paired him with the Garden of the Lights, at this point, I can't remember. There was a very good reason for it at the time. <laughs> Something about that he became a Buddhist. And then somehow that tied in with Geronimus Bosch, who also had like kind of a Buddhist, Buddhist view of life, I think, but I can't quite remember. And you painted this one? 80s. The date is probably on the back. 82. There you go. Yeah, 82. 82. And, and you... I painted it at her loft. She would, like, I lived in a tiny little apartment on 13th Street. She lived in a huge loft on Gray Jones. She would be away for months at a time and said, hey, if you want to paint a little bit more space, larger work. Do it. So I painted many of my paintings actually at her space. So this is my thank you to her. Mm. Wow. That's cool. Well, great story. And there you Looks go. Let's have it back. Thank you. It comes back <laughs> after. So you haven't seen this for how many years? Well, since I gave it to her, which is probably like late 80s. Wow. So, yeah. So that's like literally 30 like years. 30 years. <laughs> wow. So it's wow. like being a, seeing an old friend again. That's really yes. Nice. I'm so glad to have it back. Kids all grown up. Uh, yeah, I have smaller <laughs> versions of it, but they're not as good. And they're different colors. So this one, I'm Was really, this the first? This was the first one. Of course, the one that did it the quickest, they're always Yeah, the and then you always yeah. try to emulate it, it never works. Yeah. Great. So cool. Well, I'm so happy you got it back. Thank you, Adrian. I'm, I, it's so generous of you to give no, this back to me. Just, really, this is like... It's but then when I started reading about you and you know your Instagram post, I realized where it came from. You're just like this great guy who really is, you know, thinking beyond himself and you know. I see, well, it's just you. You allow serendipity, or you you notice serendipity, and you just respect other people's work as well, rather than just trash it for your own benefit. Right. Right. And you get something way better out of it, right? Yeah, but not more. a lot of people think like that, Adrian. So you gotta just give yourself credit for this. This is really amazing. Most people would have just kept it, chucked it, wouldn't have bought it. Well, like I say, the payment is uh, your happiness, so, you know, <laughs> that's, that's invaluable, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't realize how big it was. Oh, by the way, you can talk at my funeral as well if you want to re relate this story when I find <laughs> <laughs>